Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay welcome back so now we will discuss this producer right uh, of course, we are assuming always any producer he or she is profit maximizer only. So, targeting to maximize his profit right. So, and that profit maximizing condition we have derived that uh, M R equals to M C right. So, let us plot M R curve and M C curve all in a single diagram. So, we are measuring quantity this side ok. Say, say suppose for the time being we are discussing this competitive producers uh, short run output decision or soft short run optimum output decision optimum in the sense that profit maximizing output decision ok. So, the short run let us plot him this is average cost curve or average total cost curve ok. Average variable cost curve. marginal cost curve. These are the cost curves given the technology and given the factor markets whatever that producer is facing this is the cost structure ok. And now suppose we are plotting that this is the average revenue which is identical to price equals to marginal revenue ok. So, in the vertical axis what we are measuring other than quantity whatever different variables are appearing in this diagram all we are measuring in the vertical axis like uh, average total cost, average variable cost, okay. marginal cost, average revenue, marginal revenue, price everything we are measuring vertical axis right. So, we know that to maximize profit two condition this is the first order condition M R equals to M C and second order condition slope of M R or, or second order condition if you can remember two conditions of profit maximization we have derived in the last video or last lecture or one lecture uh, or some previous lecture it is. So, let us let us de derive that again. So, profit usually denoted by pi that is basically total revenue minus total cost right. So, total revenue is basically price into quantity minus total cost. So, price into quantity that I am writing revenue as a function of quantity in that way total revenue as a function of quantity minus total cost in any case that is a function of quantity because all kinds of cost curves if you see that as quantity is changing they are changing. So, those that is a function of quantity right. So, to maximize profit, so choice optimum decision of a producer is what to maximize profit taking quantity as the choice variable because he is your hard choice what is that how much quantity of output I will produce that is my choice right. So, quantity is the choice variable ok. So, my first order condition will be del pi del q that must be equals to 0. So, if you do that basically that implies del T r as a function of q del q that must be or that minus del T c as a function of q del q that must be equals to 0. That implies this as we define that is called marginal revenue minus this is as we defined earlier that is called marginal cost that equals to 0. So, this implies M R equals to M C. So, that is the first order condition or first order necessary condition for profit maximization. What is the sufficient condition or second order condition? Of course, del 2 pi del q 2 that must be less than 0. If you do that it will be del del q of m r minus del del q of m c that must be less than 0. So, this implies basically del del q of m r 
marginal revenue curves slope, slope of the marginal revenue curve we can think of because horizontal axis we are measuring quantity. So, definitely this is slope of MR curve and this thing is slope of MC curve in the same way because horizontal axis we are measuring quantity only right. So, this minus that less than 0. So, this must be less than slope of M C curve. So, this is the second order condition okay, or sufficient condition for profit maximization. Look at here in this diagram what is M R and M C. Okay. So, this is the M C, this is the M R. So, M R equals to M C is where? This is the point when M R and M C are same because at that point what is the MR value? MR value is this vertical distance. What is the MC value? Of course, that vertical distance because that is the MC curve. Okay. So, this point this E point is satisfying first order condition for sure MR equals to MC. Okay. Does this also satisfy second order condition? So, second order condition is telling that slope of the MR line should be less than slope of the MC line. So, MR line is horizontal here. So, what is the slope of a MR line? Definitely horizontal axis what is slope? 0 and MC what is the slope? Is positive. So, definitely at this point also slope of MR curve is less than slope of MC curve. So, this point this E point in the diagram is not only uh, so or uh, this point is actually satisfying both the condition both first order necessary condition and second order sufficient condition of profit maximization. Okay. So, this is the equilibrium point of that producer okay. by that what we are referring or what we want to mean we mean that if a producer which is going to which is operating in a competitive product market and facing this kind of red color horizontal demand curve for his product. Okay and the producer whose cost structure is given by or whose technology side is captured by this MC, ATC and ABC curves that producer should produce OQ star amount of output to maximize his profit. Look this OQ star amount of output is not coming from sky. We are getting that amount of output by satisfying both the first order and second order condition of profit maximization. So, since both the conditions are satisfying there, satisfying there, so this points indirectly is telling that if that producer produces this much of quantity of output okay, and sell each of those each units of that, that output at this much of price whatever which is existing in the market right, that producer can attain the maximum profit. Okay. Now, the question is how much profit he will gain in this particular case of course, can we show the area or can we show the amount of profit look at here he will produce this much of quantity. So, for that much of output what is the average cost curve? Average cost curve is here this is ATC curve average total cost right. So, when he is producing OQ star amount of output per unit of output he is incurring this much of average cost. So, definitely this red color box is the total area of cost or that area represented the amount of total cost that producer is facing because average cost into quantity that is the total cost okay. and so total cost is this box. So, I am writing suppose this is a b and this is p star point. Okay. So, O Q star B A this rectangular area is basically total cost of that producer. Okay. Alternatively O Q star E P star that area is basically total revenue. Why that area is total revenue? Because this much price per unit of the output he is facing in the market and this much quantity he is selling in that market. So, that this two product that means this area this larger rectangular area is the total revenue. So, how much profit he is gaining this revenue minus cost total revenue minus cost. So, that is denoted by this shaded blue color shaded area rectangular area is representing his profit. Okay. 
So, how much profit a producer is getting okay, depends on what kind of price line he faces in the market. Look being negli being occupying a negligible fraction or negligible share of the entire market, this producer he or she does not have any control over the market price, what we have told earlier. That means, whatever price is prevailing in the market, he or she has to take that price. One essential criteria, one essential uh, property of a competitive market is that everybody is price taker, because everybody means both each producer as well as each customer because each of them uh, are only one of the large number of buyers and large number of sellers uh, who are there in that market. right? So, as a result they do not have any control over the market price and market price is determined through market demand and market supply force and through that whatever price will prevail in that market, okay, each of them has to take that price for granted. Okay. So, that is why each buyer as well as each seller we can term in this market as price taker. Okay. Each of them has to take the price whatever is prevailing in the market. Right. So, definitely whether market condition is favorable for me or not that depends on what kind of price is there in the market because I cannot determine that price level. So, let us let us draw another diagram. Suppose earlier diagram whatever we have shown there the producer this diagram producer is getting this much of positive profit this okay, this rectangular area of positive profit. So, the this is the short run equilibrium of that producer. What guarantees that it is a short run, short run case? Look average total cost and average variable cost two different curves they definitely then there is some fixed cost gap of in between their vertical gap in between them is the average fixed cost. So, definitely some total fixed cost is there because average fixed cost is something positive. Okay. So, since there is two different curves as ATC and ABC or in alternatively since average total cost curve is different from average variable cost curve this is definitely a short run case. Okay. So, so, this short run case in this particular producer if this is the price line right he is getting some positive profit. Okay. Is it will it be the always the situation in that market definitely no let us go to the another say, suppose this is the average total cost curve okay. this is the average variable cost curve of course, we are measuring quantity this side, this is the marginal cost curve and this side all different costs, all different revenues, price everything we are measuring. Okay. Suppose this is the price line, okay. this is basically average revenue identical with price equals to marginal revenue in this market. Look at here what is happening if this is the market price situation right two points are there here and here. So, suppose this is E 1 point and this is E 2 point. Okay. So, both this E 1 and E 2 point both the points first order profit maximizing condition no that M R equals to M C both are satisfied. Look at here at this point E 1 point okay. what is M C? M C is basically this is the M C curve right. So, M C is here. So, that 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 height is the M C and at that point average revenue or price equals to the same right. So, M R line is same M R also that that value. So, this E 1 point and E 2 point both are satisfying M R equals to M C condition satisfying points. Then the question is why not the E 1 point, so out of these two points which will be the profit maximizing point for that producer who is facing this kind of uh, revenue structure or this kind of demand curve given this kind of cost structure. Okay. Look the second order condition right, second order condition is satisfying at E 2 point and it is not satisfied at E 1 point. Second order condition tells what? Se let me repeat again second order condition tells that 
slope of the MR line should be lower than the slope of the MC line. At this point, slope of the MC line is positive, slope of the MR line is horizontal, MR line is horizontal, so 0. So, at this point second order condition is satisfied. Why not at this point? Look at here, at this point slope of the MR line is 0 because MR line is horizontal, but what is the slope of MC line? MC line slope this is the MC curve negative. Okay. So, since 0 is greater than negative, right? so at E1 point second order condition is not satisfied. So, in this kind of diagram, okay, although u1 and e2 both the points are satisfying the first order condition, okay, one of them will be the equilibrium because second order condition is satisfied at the e2 point. Now, this first order condition, second order condition, right? Understand it is a mathematical thing or the second order condition is a technicality kind of thing. Can we explain economically or logically why this e1 will not be a profit maximizing condition? for that producer. Profit maximizing condition means what? If this could be one point could be also a profit maximizing condition point. So, it is telling that this much output that producer should produce to maximize his profit. No. So, let us let us logically or economic by economic logic economic reasoning let us try to understand why this e one e one point is not a profit maximizing point at all. Okay. So, look what is happening in between these two points. Suppose you are at u 1 point. So, you are suppose producing this much of output. Now, if you want to increase little bit output this side if you want to go what is happening? Marginal cost curve is there. So, additional unit okay, say this additional unit no this much of marginal cost you will face. How much marginal revenue you will face? this much of marginal revenue will face. So, clearly marginal revenue is exceeding marginal cost. So, definitely that will add up to your profit. So, your profit will only increase. You can remember when we discussed in the very beginning maybe first or second lecture now when we were discussing 10 principles. Okay. One principle was that the rational people think and margin and that time the, the example what we gave that airlines example if you can remember. Okay. And so, you are compare you were comparing that time what that how much additional uh, price or additional income I will get if I allow that uh, extra customer or extra passenger okay. and how much cost say free lunch. So, uh, lunch I have to give free on board. Okay. So, what is the one extra lunch packet cost. So, we were comparing those two. Right, and see so long that marginal revenue or additional gain was exceeding the marginal cost, right? That cost of the lunch packet, okay. The message we get that that airline company should allow that customer to board the flight, right, when vacant seat was there. So, exactly that thing is coming now, okay. So, in between E1 to E2 point, what is happening as you increase your production, right, as you produce more and more every unit in between these two points right for every unit of the out additional output your mr is more than mc look at mc is always this kind mc lies somewhere in this okay along this line okay but mr is always this this horizontal or this vertical distance this vertical distance is mr so within this segment within e1 and e2 point right or every units additional revenue or marginal revenue is exceeding marginal cost. Okay. So, it is telling that as I we will produce this and this side or indirectly telling as we produce more and more right our profit will increase only right. So, that is why from not only the second order mathematical condition is satisfied uh, is not satisfying at it e 1 point and only satisfying at e 2 point okay. that second order mathematical condition right that we are trying to understand here or we have understood here rather uh, using uh, logical sense logical reasoning right. So, customer or that producer should not stop production at e 1 point rather he should produce until e 2 point. Why not after e 2 point? Look at here at e 2 point MR and MC are same. If you want to increase further production in this side, okay, look at here MC is exceeding MR, MC is more than MR. So, definitely that will pull down your profit okay, because marginal cost is exceeding your marginal revenue. Right? So, you should not. So, that is why he will stop at e 2 point.
ok. So, that is the thing. So, so if this is the case what will be the say, producer if he faces this kind of uh, uh, demand curve ok this horizontal line ok and this is the cost structure is given how much profit he will earn definitely in this case because this is the OQ star amount ok this is the OQ star amount the profit maximizing output quantity he should produce ok. How much profit he will gain at that output level right this is the price ok. So, total revenue will be price into quantity. So, this area will be the total revenue what will be the total cost until that output this is the average average total cost line look at here that is the average total cost line right average total cost line. So, this is the total cost ok. So, average total cost. So, this area is the total cost because this is the average total cost into this is the output. So, this area. So, profit will be this green shaded area ok positive profit. Now, let us try to understand ok in the short run this kind of producer will get always positive profit can their profit be negative because where the demand curve will be this producer does not have any control over that if he faces this kind of demand curve he will be more happy because he will produce until that and this is ATC car this much total profit he will gain even larger amount of total profit he will gain positive profit he will gain he will be happy only if even higher price he will be more happy like that if price is below ok. So, if I compare when this is the price line vis a vis this is the price line definitely he is less happy at this point vis a vis that price line right. So, now the question is to what extent he should be less happy, but still tolerate still produce in the market ok. Let us search for that condition let us go to another new diagram ok. Suppose this is the case average total cost curve, average variable cost curve, marginal cost curve, average revenue identical with price equals to marginal revenue. Quantity we are measuring here all costs and revenue you are measuring vertical x right. Suppose this is the price line because where will the price line I am repeating again and again where is the price line being a single producer I do not have any control price line may be here may be here may be here suppose this is the price line ok what will happen. So, this price line is telling that this is the point where both MR and MC are equal and the second order condition is also satisfied rather or MC curve slope is steeper than the MR curve slope ok. So, this is telling that O suppose this is say Q 1 O Q 1 should be the profit maximizing quantity of output that producer should produce who is facing this kind of cost structure and this kind of demand curve for his product in the market right. So, what will be his profit in that case profit will be look at here at that quantity this is the price this is the price what is the average total cost average total cost is this this is the average total cost per unit of output ok. So, how much total cost so total cost is actually so total revenue in this case this red box is total revenue and this green box is total cost. Okay. So, how much profit that producer is getting then this small rectangular area with a negative sign right because uh, revenue or uh, total cost is exceeding total revenue right. Now, let us ask a question to ourselves should this producer to produce at all ok he is getting negative profit right should he produce at all ok. So, what question the, to answer this question uh, how we should proceed or how we should think many of you people perhaps are getting an impression now that no sir he should not produce output at this level because profit is going to be negative why he knowingly he will produce he can stop production right look as here what is his opportunity here if he at all produce he should produce this amount of output 
because by producing that much of output he could maximize his profit whatever profit he could earn that maximum amount unfortunately in this particular case is negative ok what is his opportunity opportunity is there if he do not produce this much he should stop production so opportunity is without producing that if I produce 0 amount of output if I produce 0 amount of output how much uh, total cost I will face definitely total fixed cost I will face right and if I produce this amount of output how much total cost I am getting total fixed cost plus total variable cost whatever I am getting right. Look at here this is the ATC curve ok and this is the AVC curve right. So, the gap between ATC curve and AVC curve is the average fixed cost right. So, th this quantity when he is producing this is the average total cost and this is the average variable cost. So, definitely this is the average fixed cost if he produce OQ1 amount of output. So, if I take this area say in this particular case say M in say this is M in K T. So, M in K T M in K T this rectangular area in the diagram is basically his total fixed cost. Look at here if he stop production he has to incur entire fixed cost because this is a short run situation right. So, that time what will be his profit? His profit will be he is stopping production. So, his output quantity is 0. So, total revenue will be price into 0 equals to 0. So, your his total revenue is 0 minus total cost. So, total revenue is 0 minus this is the total total cost. This is total revenue and total cost is this right. So, his total profit will be this entire area with a negative sign by producing this much his total profit is this entire area with a negative sign. So, definitely by producing something he is reducing his loss ok he could reduce his loss. So, although this case quite unfortunate to that producer because the price level what is that in the market that is allowing him given his cost structure is allowing him only to get some negative profit if he produce, but although profit is negative he should not stop production because if he stop production he will incur more loss than the amount of loss he is incurring by producing OQ1 amount of output ok. So, he should not stop production he should produce ok. Now, the question is to what extent he should produce ok. If price level even below if price level even below he should 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 he produce ok. Let us let us quickly answer that question and then we will stop ok. So, suppose if he produce something ok his total profit is basically total fixed cost plus total variable cost and these two things revenue minus that that is his profit if he produce right and if, if he do not produce right then his total cost is T f c because if he do not produce there is no variable cost only total fixed cost right. So, that total fixed cost will be total uh, total cost in that case right. So, he will stop production when this is the situation ok. Total fixed cost is more than this entire thing ok. So, that means what that means so revenue minus total variable cost is less than 0 right or revenue should be less than total variable cost or if I if I divide both side by quantity so, revenue by Q should be less than total variable cost by Q ok. This is giving you revenue by Q is basically price 
okay? Okay? this less than total variable cost by q is basically average variable cost the way we have defined. So, if price goes below the average variable cost line then he should stop in the short run. Okay? So, in the earlier diagram look at here this is the average variable cost line. Okay. So, if price line somehow goes this is the lowest point of the average variable cost line. Okay. If price line somehow goes below this point okay, below this level then he should stop, stop production because even in that case if, if, it, if he produce uh, he should incur uh, more loss than the total fixed cost. So, definitely he should stop production to incur only total fixed cost. Okay. So, what we are telling in the short run by virtue of the fact that the producer has to face some fixed cost because it is in short run case. Okay. Even uh, under certain situation if price level goes below to some below level where it the price situation is not that much fortunate for the producer right, and he has to incur some loss still he should continue produce production okay, because by producing he can reduce his loss. But of course, you will have the question is how long you will tolerate this loss so long the price is above average variable cost curves line okay, that until that point he should uh, tolerate the negative profit. But if somehow price goes below the average variable cost he should not tolerate anymore he should stop production in the short run. Okay. So, let us stop here tomorrow or in, the, in our next lecture. Okay, we will discuss more elaborately how this producer's supply curve look like and also. Okay, let us stop here.